It's Tech Lid and we're bullish. The stampede is coming, baby. In this video, we will be talking about AMC Entertainment Holdings, the ticker symbol, of course, AMC. So another day, another day of red for AMC. The stock closed at $18.32. It was good for a decline of 2.76% which was a loss of 52 cents on the day if you zoom out amc is down 4.50 actually four dollars and 54 cents which is good for a loss of nearly 20 percent people this was only in a matter of five days that is a huge figure right there and in the last month amc bleeds even further down 38 percent big big numbers there now before we get on with this video for those of you not familiar with the channel i don't sell rainbows and sunshine what we do on this channel is that we keep it real nitty gritty none of that corny unicorn stuff over here we're over here spitting the truth whether you guys like it or not the apes are out there and they are super positive and sometimes to their own detriment Listen, I think that AMC is a great investment and I actually think that right now is a great time to get in or to average down and strengthen your position. But we must keep in perspective and always look at what the market is doing. I always say on my videos, the market does what the market does, right? The market right now does not give a damn if you are buying, the price is still going down so you have to be prepared, right? And what do I mean by being prepared? Let's talk about something I did real quick today. A lot of the apes are not going to like this. They'll probably want to ban me, right? But it is what it is. And that's just what it is, right? But the reality is you cannot sit around idle and just wait. Of course, Look, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Always make sure to do your own due diligence and research when you invest in any type of market. But folks, you cannot stick to one strategy is what I mean. Not financial advice, of course. You gotta be versatile. This is what I truly believe in, right? So AMC, right? Let's say that I have a few stocks of it, right? I am going to hold that for the long term, right? But then there will be another bunch of stocks, right? That I own from AMC, a bunch of shares that I could be trading. And look, there is no problem with trading. I know people say you got to buy, never sell, never sell. But you got to prepare because days where we are idle and losing money long term, you still want to make some money short term. So today I went out, right? And we got 150 shares of AMC that we added to our position, right? Your market order to buy 150 shares of AMC is complete. The average price was $18.39, as you could see. Total cost $2,758 right this was today guess what i wanted a quick profit today i saw that i had an opportunity and when you have an opportunity you gotta go out and seek it right you seek the opportunity and you execute it amc market sell i got rid of those same shares today all 150 of them right the order filled at $18.96. This was the total after $2,844, right? Which is more than the $27.58. So all in all, all in all, if you do the math, we made about $86 today. And then when you include the taxes for next year, yada, 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 you know, we're looking at about 50 bucks there, right? After you pay taxes. But folks, who cares, right? You're in the green whenever you make a move like that and you made a quick profit. And this is the most important thing though. I made $86 pretty much, right? 
that is now enough to go and buy about four more shares of AMC if I go out and make this same order of 150 shares, right? Look, let's be frank. $18.32 is where we are at right now. So it is actually cheaper than the price I purchased it at. So I could take that same dollar amount that I purchased it and actually get it a bit cheaper. Plus, I was able to gain about four shares of AMC. What is not to like? Sometimes you just got to take quick profits. I know that the apes want to hold, 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 but the reality is sometimes little smart moves like this set you up to make the big moves, right? I'm not saying that you're going to do this every single day, even though if you look and observe the charts, you could see openings where you could do this, right? You see openings where it goes higher and then when it goes lower and you could strike, right? with support and resistance levels. This is why they are so important. And that is why I discuss them on the channel, right? Guys, please be smart, be valid, be do your diligence, right? Just observe the market. The market is going to do what the market does. You could have a long term bag, right? Hold it for the big rise, whatever price you are comfortable exiting that will be your strategy your exit but in the meantime why not make some money right just to have a little bit of an open mind and a little bit of a different perspective that is why we are discussing this and talking about this i know that the apes hold 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 hado 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 we understand i understand the notion i understand that the shorts right? This is what is happening. This is what I have said before, right? If I was someone that was to consistently short AMC and only focus on that, yes, I could get burned because me expecting AMC to come back to $18, it may not happen once it hits $40 and $50. So it will be at a price where I may not be comfortable purchasing at again. And this is what people mean when they say that they are destroying those short sellers because they do not get comfortable enough to re-enter. But that is why I said always have long-term shares in it. I've always said you could be a long-term investor and a swing trader, a day trader all at once. People don't believe it, but that is just a short example. And I know that 150 shares is not a lot. We have people that do this and they flip thousands of shares, right? But there are people that wouldn't take that risk. So that is why I always say at your own risk, be careful, always do your research. And it is what it is. When you do this, it is your decision. So guys, just for different perspective, there's that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, it's simple. Give it a thumbs down. Please do consider subscribing to the channel as it helps tremendously. Smash that notification bell so you can stay notified, up to date, and informed. Until the next time, peace and love to the Tech Lid Legion.